we have company. What an adventure. Well, good morning. Beautiful campsite. For what it is, it's paved, but we have electric. We had a place to sleep last night. We ran out of water this morning for some reason. So now we have to rearrange our whole day have to figure out what we're doing next. We have a shuttle booked for 12. Uh, we also have not been to a glacier yet, so we really need to figure things out. So we need to get on the road. Thank you, Apiti, for hosting us last night because you saved us. All right, let's get on the road. Wow, look at the size of this guy. Let's check this out. Well, last night was just the perfect indication why you just need to change your plans. You need to be willing to change and just go with the flow. There was nothing we could do last night. That highway was closed and we just made the best of the situation. The kids got a chance to swim it in that lake, which we had originally missed. And now we're just readjusting our schedule today to try and get everything in, try to make everything fit. And if it doesn't fit, that's just the way it is. Just gotta be willing to go with the float. This is the trailhead for uh, Stanley Falls. We're not going to be able to do it. It looks like it's a two hour hike. So we'll definitely add this on our list for next time. Uh, we don't have time to do it today. It was not part of the plan, but um, the gentleman at the ice field said that this was a must do walk, but there was probably 20 waterfalls on the way. So definitely on our list for next time. Check out the grates here. The road is electrified to keep the wildlife out of town. Well, I think we found the RV parking for the Lake Louise shuttle. This is different. We are at Marine Lake. And honestly, you do not want to come here without the shuttle. There's different ways to get around. You can take a pursuit pass. Um, you can take the Rome pass, but they're a little harder. It's a little harder to find your way here, so you better to take the shuttles, but it says every 15 minutes, and it was, we had one bus in an hour, so. Take your time on planning this part, because you're going to be here for a long time.
that's where we just were. There's a viewpoint, we'll be up there soon. That guy's in bad shape. And there's the tea house, a four hour hike, maybe next time. inside the Chateau Lake Louise. It's uphill all the way. This hurts. So we're back at Lake Louise. We took the shuttle between the uh, between Lake Louise and Lac Monet. And it was that transfer was pretty easy, a lot easier than getting here in the first place. And now we're hiking up to the viewpoint. It's only a half hour walk, but I believe it's an elevation of 300 meters, I think. I'll check and I'll, I'll put it down below. But it is a hike, but the view is spectacular. I'm already out of breath because I'm out of shape. And we've been hiking for three days. So, watch this hyperlapse to get to the top. So tell me, tell me in the comments below, is the hike worth it? Look at the view. I survived coming back down the mountain. We got to the top. What a tremendous view. Not our first time doing this one. You can see that on our, on our last video here. I think we're going to call it a day there. We're supposed to do three hikes today, but we just don't have time, so we're going to head back and get to the RV. See you there. How about a little sun shower? Then's brother and Alex have decided to take a little swim. The water is only 40 degrees. Yeah, I brought a power bank, but I didn't bring a charger cable. So everybody's phone is dead, except for two people, and they're almost dead. That was a long day, we just missed the rain. It rained while we were on the bus. Now it's beautiful again. Time to get to the campsite. And have maybe a, an adult beverage or two. And some steak. I think they're ready for drinks. Let's go. I think we might need new wipers. Yeah, have you seen the papillas? Okay, that's good. Wow, 
well, I thought I saw everything, but I, I found something new. A lot of the national parks have those cement, like uh, you put you put your sewer pipe in it. Yeah, it's a it's a pad. It's almost like a it's to catch any any overspill. And I realized that we're all newbies at one time or another, but there's a lot of rented RVs out here and probably a lot more newbies than anywhere that we've ever seen. And some guy didn't take out his hose. I guess he just figured that that concrete basin, he just pulled the levers and let her rip right into the basin and right into the hole. So I think I've seen it all now. Anyways, I'm going to put on my gloves and get my hose. Well, there's a, there's a trail that runs the length of the river. So how's that for an epic campsite? Right on the side of the river. Got my bear bell because this just looks like a place where bears are. So we're just going for a little walk before dinner. Me and my oldest son. And we're gonna head back to the campsite soon. Have some steaks. Oh, that's not bad. So the sites here are a little different. They're almost like buddy sites. We get two rigs on the same site. This rig comes with an auto level, but it doesn't really work very good. And last night, I felt like the rig was gonna flip over. So we're gonna try it again and see what happens. Let's try. So you saw that was an epic fail. I ended up taking over manually and it's still not level. So I don't, I don't think that this leveling system works at all. As well, I just dumped the tanks and uh, I dumped the black tank and it says it's still two thirds full and there was nothing coming out. I'm gonna flush it tomorrow in Canmore and uh, we're gonna take a video of it because I'm not paying if his sensor doesn't work. He says the tanks have to be empty and we're emptying them. so. Uh, if his sensor doesn't work, then we'll, we'll go from there. We have the video. He never showed us the tanks empty. Uh, the sensor showed two-thirds full right from the beginning. We're very close to a train track here. Like most campsites, it is quite loud. Gotta hear the horn. He's gonna blow the horn when he gets to town, right? It sounds like it's right there. I can bet you I can see it from my lot. In our next episode, we leave Lake Louise early for another amazing glacial lake view, another incredible waterfall, and to get up close and personal with the Continental Divide. We may have an issue with the tanks on our rental, and an issue with our flight home. See you on the next one.